Park runs. Hawaii would love to go on one here. Try four, set five against two seed Minnesota. Santana, 21 kills, 10 digs. And usually what Hawaii is so good at is slowing down hitters at the point of attack. They usually, if they're not getting a stuff block, they still get a good touch and pop the ball up. But against Santana, it's a little bit harder. I mean, we've seen it more than one time. She already has a double-double here with the 21 kills and 10 digs. But she's really just one of those players that can frustrate you if you're trying to be a blocker and get two hands to the ball and really get a stuff block. Manu Polevao. We've seen her have a lot of success out of the back row while she's playing defense and digging and even back row attacking. That time the double block is there, but attacking the softest part of the block. That's the time. Just a little bit too close to the net. It was a big stretch that time for Hannah Tab. She's trying to make the play on the ball. It was just so close to the net. Not much to work with there. <laughs> Devastating serve by Higgins. Nice play by Rosado. Outside to Taylor. Did it hit the blockers? Nikki Taylor thinks it did. on the replay here, but Nikki Taylor begging for a touch on that block. Looked like it might have been on our side of the antenna, so it was out of bounds. Out of bounds, and it didn't look like there was a touch. The hands were a little bit late getting over to the top of the block. But right now, making sure that no one saw a touch. I mean, these are the plays of the front. A reversal of call. And the reason why you call over your line judge is to see if they saw a touch. You have multiple eyes watching the entire time. So Nikki Taylor gets what she wants. The serve remains with Hawaii and a touch is called. It could be a huge point in this match. 16-13 Hawaii now. Outside to Santana. Just off of the Gills left hand. Santana showing a lot of fire right now. If you don't like the call, then you got to go do something about it. And that time, leaving no question marks off of the block and inbounds for Dolly Santana. Santana told us it can't just be about one player to have total team success, but when they need a clutch point or something to happen, she's the one that gets it done for them. Tech got lucky there. Just one of Net violation, Minnesota. I think that time it's Molly Lohman going into the net on this play. Well, no, it's Hannah Tapp going over and touching at the top of the tape. Ole Val serving. How does she know which side of the blocker, where to aim? How long does it take to learn that? She's just a senior hitter that's seen just about everything. And she's going up against the Big West Player of the Year. She's going up against Nikki Taylor, who has a lot of success. Nikki Taylor averages over one block per set. And she just hasn't had success against Dolly Santana because she's such a smart hitter who can change up her swings, who has a lot of off-speed shots, and knows exactly when to use them. Going into the block. No. Out of bounds. You can see up official signaling that ball hits the block of Sarah Wilhite. Wilhite like thought it hit, hit Taylor, Taylor, which is what I thought had happened. See the bang bang play. We'll watch the replay again. And it does look like it hit Taylor. They don't have replay. At the NCAA Regional Finals, we move on. 18-15, Hawaii.
tries to place the push. Point Minnesota. Well, the ball forced the line judge to move out of the way, so he said, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. So your down official has to step in and make the call here. Going down the line, and that ball clearly out. Madness in the fourth set between Hawaii and Minnesota. It's getting a little crazy in Des Moines. far across. Net violation, Minnesota, which I did not see. The last five calls have been very interesting, but the officials trying to make a call, and it looks like Molly Lohman on the way down, her elbow touches the top of the tape, and hey, good call. Appreciating crew working hard to get it right, the speed of this game, you can tell on television, but I promise you it's even more electrifying in person. And sometimes it's the slow shots that get you. It's the roll shot. Sarah Wilhite, she's moved way off of the net. So going over the top of the block, and you can see no one ready to run through there. Everyone has designated lanes. Whenever you see a tip that you're supposed to be running through, the off blocker has a certain course that they're supposed to cut. The middle back has a certain course. And that time, miscommunication by Hawaii. Stick by Santana. Kahakai <laughs> keeps it in for Hawaii. They get to the back set to Taylor. Rosada one handed dig. Higgins goes to the middle of Maglio. Nice play by Shaw. Will High finally drops the claw on it. Rosado had the huge clutch dig out of the back row. The libero going to work. Look at that one-handed dig cleaning up the line. All Seliger Swinson could do was keep it alive. And then this play, because Seliger Swinson is up and jumping, it draws an extra blocker. So you get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Sarah Wilhite, who takes advantage of ending the rally. Jared Elliott's first national title, and she was just lights out. One of the best players I've ever seen play with. Taylor from the back row. Great reaction for Hawaii star after getting that point. And Nikki Taylor needing that one. Take her into the middle. She's taking a lot of swings out of right back this time. They create a play so she swings out of the pipe. That's a huge play out of the timeout. Set outside to Will Height. Team can't get by Higgins. This time she brings a little bit more thunder to the swing. And Wilhite just goes over the top of the head of Taylor Higgins. Definitely a smaller blocker, the 5'9 setter. And you can see it right there, Sarah Wilhite taking advantage of that, the 6'1 junior. Minnesota still trailing Hawaii by one here in set four. Nice stick by Rosado. Shows you made an adjustment. He said, I want a triple block up against Dolly Santana when everybody knows that it's going to her. But it doesn't matter because Dolly still comes up with the kill, hitting high and off of the block, off of the triple. Taylor. Attack error. 21 20. Minnesota on a 3 0 run. Nikki Taylor has had so much success out of the back row, and she wants it so bad for her team. This time, just the contact is a little bit low and going into the team. Pair of conference champions. Minnesota from the Big Ten. Hawaii from the Big West. Taylor dug by Rosado. Back out to Santana. extraordinary about what's happening right now is both setters are feeding the best player on the court. Nikki Taylor has taken every swing. Dolly Santana has taken every swing for Minnesota. Both teams are saying if we're going to win this match, we know who we have to go to. And it is the go-to elite level player at this point.
a match in the 2015 campaign as Will had serves it. Back set to Taylor. Golden Gophers are trying to surge their way to Omaha. And the swing short just again for Nikki Taylor. She's looking for that seam. Everybody knows that the ball is going to her. But now Minnesota up three. Golden Gophers are heading to Omaha. 